Welcome back to First at Four. It's time to find another deserving animal, a very good home, and this is Katrina, right? That's right. Tina Miller joins us now from the West Alabama Humane Society with Katrina, and Katrina is a very special dog. She is so special, and, and happy Thursday. Happy Thursday. It's good to be with you. It's been a while <laughs> oh, since I've been out here it. with you. This is a special treat to have you here today. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Welcome to my show. No. <laughs> well, let's just let Tina have it from here on. <laughs> but uh, Katrina, uh, tell us about Katrina. Well, Katrina is special. You're you're exactly right. Katrina is probably one of our old timers mm -hmm. at the dog house at the Humane Society, and and uh, she's been with us on and off for the last two years. Katrina came to us as a tornado rescue dog, and we were able to um, hold her and keep her for a while for a family who had suffered a lot of loss during the tornado and we were so glad to do it and we found out that soon after she came to us that she was going to be a mommy and <laughs> yeah, uh and, <laughs> yes so we we took her to the vet and got her all of her prenatals and made sure that she gave birth to three happy very healthy puppies mm -hmm. which we were then able to adopt out and that was very good um, and then we went ahead and spayed her. <laughs> but soon after that, we discovered that she was sick. So we took her in, had a test run, and she was heartworm positive. Mm. What, uh, real quick, for people at home, what kind of symptoms uh, was mm -hmm. she showing? Uh, very lethargic mm -hmm. and um, thirsty a lot. And um, uh, if they gain weight, you know, which she still is, is, is a bit rotund, but, um, <laughs> but turned out that, that the family that had had her had not had her on preventatives, which is very very important mm -hmm. because the treatment for dogs is extremely serious and long. It's like a six week um, term of, of shots. They have to keep the dog um, like in a crate, just very calm. You, they can't run and play like other dogs. You know, mm -hmm. you have to really keep them down. They just, it just takes a long time and a lot of money and effort to get them um, healed. But I'm glad to say that, that she came out of it very well and her family wanted her back which of course we had that agreement with them, so we gladly gave her back the family. But soon after, um, on, a, on a regular visit to Metro Animal Shelter to choose other dogs for mm -hmm. the Humane Society, we saw her there. And so we could not let her stay <laughs> no. there. You know, we, we had to have her back. So she is now the unofficial pet <laughs> of, the, of the dog house, but we do want her to go to a loving family. Mm -hmm. So this month, we have her on special for $45. That's such a good price mm -hmm. for such a sweet dog. She's so sweet. She's been licking me nonstop mm -hmm. when we were back there talking, and she seems like she's just a good, uh, like a good companion. Yes. It could be a lap dog, kind of. Yes. And you said that she's a spaniel mix? She's a spaniel mix, mm -hmm. and she's eight years old, so she is considered you know, a senior adult, mm -hmm. um, but we can say that as of today, she has a clean bill of health. Uh, she is very happy. Mm -hmm. She probably would be the best um, in maybe an only dog family. And she's she's used to being outside at her other home, uh -huh. uh, and which would be fine as long as there was a fenced in yard. But she really would just rather be inside with that one person <laughs> loving on them because she just just gets so close to anyone who even shows mm -hmm. her any kind of love and affection. And you know, to, to live out the rest of her life just happy <laughs> and, and, with, and with that one person. And I can tell you, it's not family. hard. You know, I just moved and uh, I moved my outside dog to more of an inside dog mm -hmm. and it's really not hard. You know, she loves it. She goes outside and will run mm -hmm. around and then comes back. So, sure. oh yeah, it's not hard. And she's a small dog, so she'll, I'm sure she'd fit, mm -hmm. fit inside a home real well. It's the best of both worlds, in my opinion. Exactly. <laughs> and uh, you are, have, do you guys have a summer special right now? We do. Mm -hmm. for, for any cat or dog over a year, mm -hmm. the rates are reduced from $75 to $45. And for our dogs, we have two. We have um, Katrina here, and then we have Shiloh the Beagle. That, that are both reduced, and that's going through the end of the month. Um, so call that, that number on your screen, and we would love to get you set up. Um, but we also have a pet adoption event coming up this Saturday. Saturday, June 8th. Mm -hmm. uh, Humane Society of West Alabama has a meet and greet at Pet Supplies Plus. I love those events. They're so much fun. Mm -hmm. It's over there on McFarland Boulevard, and that runs 10 until 2. And we want you guys to come out and uh, tune in next Thursday for another edition of the Tina Miller Show. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> I'll be glad to make an appearance. <laughs> you can get lots of friends like Katrina and give them a happy home and go out there and call that number 554-0011 and get Katrina from the Doghouse in the West Alabama Humane Society and they're online at humanesocietyofwa.org.